What's going on my people? You know who it is, your boy Mark Prasad and we are back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing very well and I want to say welcome back. Now today I'm going to share with you guys a chest workout, my most recent chest workout that I did a couple days ago. Now as you guys know from my last video I've been having a little bit of sh um, shoulder pain in this shoulder so I've been taking it easy I find that whenever I do any type of incline or military press movements that I feel a little bit of pain some pinching and a little bit of pressure in the shoulder so I've been slowing down the incline and military press movements and I've been working on exercises where I feel absolutely no pain in my shoulder so this workout is me this chest workout is me working around any type of pain in my shoulder and I'm going to take you guys through three exercises that I did where I was able to blast out some good weights, some good heavy weights without having any issues in the shoulder, no pain, waking up the next day feeling perfectly fine. So before I get into it, I just want to let you guys know what I've been doing for my shoulder right now. I've been stretching it for about an hour a day and I've been also take, doing some uh, small physiotherapy work with rolling uh, foam rollers and resistance bands and it's helped a ton. I'm hoping that uh, this, this pain goes away in the next week or two and then I'm back at full force and I can share with you guys some incline movements. So right now uh, the incline, any type of dumbbell or barbell incline press is out of the picture. Any type of military press is also out of the picture for now. I don't want to hurt my shoulder anymore so I'm just really sl slowly taking it easy. Um, and taking it slowly. I don't feel any pain um, at all right now. I only feel pain if I try to move my arm uh, 90 degrees above my head. I feel a little bit of a little bit of pain. So I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna share with you guys three chest exercises that I did. Um, why I did them, what I'm doing. I'm sure I might also hit you guys up with some in-video commentary on these exercises. And we'll come back and talk about it. So I'm gonna get right into the workout. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and I'll be back in a bit to we'll talk a bit more. See you guys in a bit. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm starting off with some flat barbell bench press. Before I started recording these, I did some a lot of warm-up sets just to make sure that my uh, shoulder was feeling good. It was feeling okay, which it was, which I, I was just kind of surprised, but really happy at the same time. So I did a lot of warm-up sets, and now you can see me doing some working sets. I believe my working sets are starting around 1, 135, 135 pounds, and then moving up from there to... I ended off this working session with 185 pounds. That's the, mo the, max, the most weight I'm working with at the moment and it's feeling pretty good I got three reps out that's with a little bit of tightness in the shoulder so I feel that like when I'm fully recovered I can bang out 185 for about six reps hoping that happens um, moving on to the next exercise I wanted to get another compound movement in but as you guys know I'm having a little bit of shoulder issues so I had to stay away from any type of incline pressing so what I did in here is I just moved over to flat dumbbell bench press. Um, the dumbbells, what happens is with the dumbbells is it, it, it activates a lot more um, different muscles in and around your chest, uh, specifically your, delt your deltoids, your shoulders, your tri and your triceps, and a lot of other supporting muscle groups um, in the core and all, all around the upper body. So I tried this one out and I did a lot of warm-up sets as well just to make sure I didn't feel any pressure in my shoulder and I didn't so I was capable of banging out some good uh, some good weights I ended up pyramiding up uh, to 75 pound dumbbells which is getting uh, easier and easier for me to do by the day so I'm really happy about that um, you can see me you know I'm just taking my time and moving slowly one thing I want to just mention to you guys is the way you perform this, these type of movements is especially when you when you're doing uh, any type of heavy weight is control the weight on the way down and power back up. Keep your butt, this is including the bench press, keep your butt on the on the bench. Do not lift that butt off the bench um, at all. Um, the moment you start lifting your butt off the bench, especially when you're moving some big weight, uh, you are open to injury. So keep your butt on the bench, keep your core tight, keep your, your shoulder blades back and on the bench as well. And if the weight is heavy, just use some leg drive. That's what it's there for. And uh, keep your butt muscles, your glutes flexed, especially when you're moving some heavy weights. It might help uh, help you get it up. So a lot of people don't talk about the leg drive or your butt, your your the muscles in your legs 
incorporated into the bench press, but it, it really does, especially when you're moving big weight. Um, all factors your body come into play when you're benching big weights. So that's just something, some food for thought and for you guys to keep in the back of your mind. I'm really happy that the fact that I wasn't able to feel any pain in my shoulder. So I went, to, I went after that and hit some, I hit some uh, cable flies. It felt great. I was able to move some good weight around with that, with that as well. And the way I moved the cable flies, sometimes it came down pretty low to target the lower part of my chest and coming back, coming up high to about shoulder length part. I was doing some of that with no pain in the shoulder. And I really felt it in the upper part of my chest, like towards the, even up to the clavicle, I was feeling the muscles flexed that high, which is, I feel was a good thing. What you didn't see was me. Um, I banged up a set of incline uh, chest press on a machine at a pretty light weight, but I just wanted to try it out, see how I f felt. And it felt really good, no pain whatsoever. So thank goodness. And I'm hoping that stays that way once my shoulders and my chest got warm uh, everything went away so we are looking up it's actually looking good the strength is still there the strength is actually getting pretty good right now and um, the size is slowly coming along so I'm gonna probably do another status update physique check in a couple weeks and um, I'll share that with you guys but that was my chest workout man you know it was really simple really effective and I worked with what I had and that's the whole, the main thing, you know. I uh, I'm just working with what I have right now, and I'm make, making the most of it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Catch me back. I'm gonna come talk a little bit about um, my workout, what I'm doing to change things around. So I'll see you guys in a bit. What's good, my people? So I'm back. That was my chest workout. That you, you guys saw three um, good compound and two co good compound movements in one fly movement for the chest. Um, I didn't feel any pressure in my shoulder, so I was able to move up in some decent weights as you guys saw for myself personally. Some of you guys are uh, killing a lot more weight than that, and I hats off, I salute you guys uh, for that. So what, I, what I'm gonna just, uh, just quickly move forward is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to adapt to the situation. I'm trying to be as adaptable as possible. I'm not giving up, I'm not gonna stop. Sometimes, you know, in life, you're gonna hit a little speed bump. You're gonna you're gonna get slowed down a bit, and it, it doesn't mean you have to stop and give up. You always continue moving forward, but you move smaller forward in a strategic and uh, in a smart way. So what I'm doing is I'm just working around this right now. I'm not gonna give up and say I can't do anything anymore. I'm just being smart about working around it and taking another path to get to my goal. Will I be slowed down a bit? I will be slowed down a bit. Does that really ma matter at the end of the day? Not really because we are in a marathon here. It's not a sprint, remember this. This journey, this fitness journey, the look that everybody's trying to get or the look that you wanna get, it takes time. It doesn't matter how, how dedicated, how focused you are. This stuff takes time and it takes it takes months. It can even take years depending on your level. So I just got hit with a little small speed bump here. I got a little barrier in front of me. I'm just gonna make another path to go around that barrier or I'm just gonna take the speed bump, go slowly, pull out my blueprints and reevaluate, make some things, some changes here and there, and then go forward. And that's the way you, you should treat every situation. You know, and not every situation is gonna be a good situation. And it doesn't mean that you should give up, it's just a test. And you're gonna encounter tests like this throughout your entire life. So get used to it, get used to certain situations that you can't control and get used to making decisions that can get you back in the driver's seat uh, once you're faced with something like this. Uh, that's the message I want to just share with you guys is always stay motivated, always stay dedicated, always stay focused on what you plan, on what you try to do, what you try to accomplish, and get it done in a smart, efficient, and strategic and effective way. Um, guys, you know, I just want to say I really appreciate all the support, all the comments that I've been getting and um, all the helpful feedback I've been getting as well. Before I let you guys go, I just want to say if you're new to the channel, if you can please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, it really does help me out. Help me out. Please smash that like button, that really helps me out as well if you're, if you're cap capable of sharing this video. I really appreciate that. And uh, guys, if you can leave some comments down below, or if you want to leave some comments down below, Please go ahead, I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. I really appreciate all of you guys. I think you guys are all amazing people. Check me out on Instagram, Mark Prasad Fitness. I'm there trying to post, trying to not post. Who knows what's happening with that? But I'm trying to I'm trying to get there. Slow it down a bit, but 
Sometimes you just get slowed down in life, man, but you don't stop. So that's the message, guys. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Wish you guys an amazing weekend and an amazing uh, rest of the week. And in a couple of days, I'll post another video. I'm gonna bring you guys abs part two, where I speak about a few other exercises I do for my abs and how I can do them and how why they're effective. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you guys have a great weekend, like I said. You know who it is. Your boy, Mark Prasad. I'm out.